subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about some commonly asked questions in Splunk Core Certified Power User. So let's get started. Question number 1, which one of the following statements about the search command is true? Your options are A. It does not allow the use of wildcards. B. It treats field values in a case-sensitive manner. C. It can only be used at the beginning of the search pipeline. D. It behaves exactly like search strings before the first pipe. The correct answer is, option D. Question number 2. Which of the following actions can the eval command perform? Your options are A. Remove fields from results B. Create or replace an existing field C. Group transactions by one or more fields D. Save SPL commands to be reused in other searches The correct answer is, option B. Question number 3 when can a pipe follow a macro? Your options are A. A pipe may always follow a macro B. The current user must own the macro C. The macro must be defined in the current app D. Only when sharing is set to global for the macro The correct answer is, option A. Question number 4 Data models are composed of one or more of which of the following data sets? Choose all that apply. Your options are A. Events data sets B. Search data sets C. Transaction data sets D. Any child of event, transaction, and search data sets The correct answers are, option A, B, and C. Question number 5, when using the field extractor which of the following delimiters will work? Choose all that apply. Your options are A tabs B pipes C colons D spaces The correct answers are option B and D. Question number 6 Which group of users would most likely use pivots? Your options are A users B architects C. Administrators D. Knowledge Managers The correct answer is, option D. Question number 7. When multiple event types with different color values are assigned to the same event, what determines the color displayed for the event? Your options are A. Rank B. Weight C. Priority D. Precedence the correct answer is, option C. Question number 8. There are several ways to access the field extractor. Which option automatically identifies the data type, source type, and sample event? Your options are. The correct answer is, option A. Question number 9. Which of the following statements would help a user choose between the transaction and stats commands? Your options are A. Stats can only group events using IP addresses B. The transaction command is faster and more efficient C. There is a 1000 event limitation with the transaction command D. Use stats when the events need to be viewed as a single correlated event Question number 2 Which of the following Question number 10. By default, how is acceleration configured in the Splunk Common Information Model add-on? Your options are A. Turned off B. Turned on C. Determined automatically based on the source type D. Determined automatically based on the data source The correct answer is, option A. Question number 11. Which of the following statements describe the common information model? Choose all that apply. Your options are A. CIM is a methodology for normalizing data. B. CIM can correlate data from different sources. C. 
The Knowledge Manager uses the CIM to create knowledge objects. D. CIM is an app that can coexist with other apps on a single Splunk deployment. The correct answers are, option A, B, and D. Question number 12, which of the following knowledge objects represents the output of an eval expression? Your options are, A eval fields, B calculated fields, C field extractions, D calculated lookups. Question number 7, when multiple Question number 13, what do events in a transaction have in common? Your options are, A. All events in a transaction must have the same timestamp. B. All events in a transaction must have the same source type. C. All events in a transaction must have the exact same set of fields. D. All events in a transaction must be related by one or more fields. The correct answer is, option D. Question number 14, which delimiters can the field extractor detect? Choose all that apply. Your options are, A tabs, B pipes, C spaces, D commas. Question number 9, which of the following statements would help a Question number 15. A data model consists of which three types of data sets? Your options are A. Constraint, Field, Value B. Events, Searches, Transactions C. Field Extraction, Regex, Delimited D. Transaction, Session ID, Metadata The correct answer is, Option B. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.